We all take for granted that buildings are going to last forever, that they're safe as houses. But what happens when things don't go according to plan? Um, I'm Bernard Travers, and I'm a forensic civil engineer at Hawkins. We investigate when things go wrong, from fires and floods to crashes and explosions. And as a forensic civil engineer, my job is to find out what went wrong when structures crack or fall down. Now, buildings crack for all kinds of reasons. Sometimes it's serious, and other times it just needs a bit of paint. Sometimes it can be pretty hard to see what the reason for the cracking is, but sometimes it can be quite a lot easier. <laughs> now, today I'd like to show you how looking at cracks can tell you what's going on with a building. And to help me, I'm going to use food. Now, first up, subsidence. This is something that forensic civil engineers see quite often, and you might have heard of it before. Subsidence happens when one part of a building's foundation moves more than the rest. And this can be a big, expensive problem because fixing foundations whilst holding up a building is pretty hard. But how do you spot when it's happening? Let's take a look at my pink wafer wall. It's looking delicious and educational, I'm sure you'll agree. <laughs> now, what happens when the foundations in the middle of the wafer wall move downwards? As the middle subsides, cracks start to appear in the wafer wall that are wide at the bottom and thin at the top. Now, what about this next wafer wall, where the foundations at the edges are subsiding, which is the same as the middle moving up? Here, we can see cracks appearing that are wide at the top and narrow at the bottom. And that's just what you see on real walls where the edges are moving down more than the middle. Now, walls are all very well, but what about houses? Let's take a look at my shortbread chateau. Now, <laughs> The, uh, the shortbread chateau, unlike the walls, has got a door and windows. What effect do those have on the cracking? Well, some cracks have appeared a bit like the ones that we saw before, wide at the top and narrow at the bottom. But this time, almost all the cracking has happened near the windows. Why? It's because cracks love corners and openings. It takes a lot more effort for cracks to start than it does for them to grow. And a corner or an opening can act like a crack that's already started. Chocolate bars use corners to make it easier to break off a piece you want. You know that when you bend the bar, it's going to crack at one of the corners. And the same goes for houses. If something like subsidence, subsidence tries to bend them, then cracks usually start at corners and openings. And that's why you usually find cracks around the doors and the windows. So now you know what different cracks can tell us about buildings. We saw with the wafer walls how you can spot subsidence in the middle and at the edges of buildings. And then we saw with the shortbread chateau and the chocolate bar how cracks love corners. I'm Bernard Travers, and I'm the forensic civil engineer, and I hope you've enjoyed my presentation. If not, I guess that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Oh. <laughs>